Rohan. No, Rohan. Rohan again. Oh, that's a really nice one. Rohan again. Oh my god. She's anything from 80 to 110 pounds. So I'm in Leicester and yeah, I'm in the Morrisons. I need to get Marge, Spence's mom, some chocolates because I promised I'll get some chocolates because of her sorting out my kilo. Spence, I'm sorry mate, but I know your mom did it, not you, but <laughs> yeah. And also this coat is from one of the videos, so you'll see that or oh, I've already seen it. But yeah, I've just been to a charity shop and it was amazing. Yeah, me saying a charity shop is amazing is an underestimate. Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another video. Today I am in Leicester. Obviously I'm up here for the day doing a lot of stuff, doing a lot of content. But I decided to come to Leicester because apparently there's one of the biggest charity shops in this area. I mean, it's a superstore. Um, the only trouble is it's the worst charity shop company in the world. Well, in my eyes, if you watch my videos, I always moan about this company because it's really overpriced. I'm talking about Age UK, yes. Look at the size of that building. Are you telling me they donate a lot of money to charity? How are they affording that place? I mean, it's massive. Apparently, it was an old like furniture shop um, and now they have converted it into an Age UK. It's new as well. It's only been around for a few weeks i think or a month so it's going to be fresh i think it's going to be really expensive so i'm going to do an honest review i've never ever done a review on just one charity shop can we get anything in there for a bargain to resell on ebay and vinted let's find out so it's open virtually every day they're on everything they're on YouTube as well. Oh wow. Age UK, I got a YouTube channel. Oh my god. It is so nice. Look how big it is. Is this actually a second hand shop or is it a furniture shop? It really looks like the kids section. That is something I'll buy. That is something I'll buy. $16.99. Let's see what this is fetching. Oh, it's a builder bear. It's gonna be worth a lot. $9.99. So it fetches about 20 quid. Uh, it does come with a scarf and hat. You can get 30 quid for it then, but yeah. It's okay if you want it for yourself, but that's it. Another Pokemon character. How much is he? 2 dollars What I found here, a little Kermit puppet. It's 4 dollars Never seen a Kermit ever. Comment down below if you want me to wear them in the next video. 7 dollars but not for reselling, but that is cool. I think I'm gonna get monetized on this video because the music is blaring. Little Kung Fu Panda, big head. Looking about eight quid. Found this as well for 15 pound. You get about 30 pounds for this, but it is new. But after fees, I'm gonna make about 10 quid. So I'm gonna leave it for somebody who actually really wants it. Nice to see Carol Vorderman in the uh, charity shops. Do they fit me? Oh, oh, they fit me, look at that. Let's have a look at the clothing and Nothing special here. Yeah. I'm um, gonna have to do the videos between the music. Rowan tops oh, 6 99 Get about 15 quid. Vintage fruit and loom. Um, yeah, I don't know how much they're worth. Go into the coat section now. Nothing really special. Oh. Hello, nine quid for a rowing coat. If this is what I think it is, you're looking about a 40 quid coat. It looks really nice as well. Let's go the other side. And there, Berg House. Yeah, that's more like it. Nope, no, nope, yeah, nope, nope, nope. Rohan? No, Rohan. Rohan again, oh, that's a really nice one. Rohan again. So these Rohans seem to fetch just a little bit more. That doesn't fetch anything. But this, for 15 quid, 
fetch is anything from 80 to 110 pounds. Look at these barber boat shoes. Size seven, which is not the very good size, but I think, oh, look at that, 9.99. You're getting around about 50 quid on eBay for them. But the size nines, oh, I can't leave them, even for size sevens. I'm sort of like piling up a pile. I would go through all this, but I really don't have good luck with trousers because they always send them back. Onto the jumpers though. It is coming to winter, so everybody likes a jumper. Is there any ones that stand out? I shouldn't really be buying these because Spencer's, you know, I'm getting a big pile of clothes off Spencer. But you never know. So, hey! Spencer, you were mentioning something to go before. Oh, is that old school? Six ninety nine. That's nice. It's like stretchy, but I can't be bothered. So look, there is some more jumpers down here. Oh, I haven't got a clue. Rowan again there. What's what's this? Oh, no way. That is that what I think it is. It is Patagonia. Oh, Eleven ninety nine. I don't know if I can get much more for that. God, I got some brands in here. Oh, what's that? That's nice. That's proper men's club. That's proper, like, golf clubby. Oh, Tommy Hilfiger. That's got to be a lot. How much? Seven, four, you know, you know what? That is not too bad. For, like, that, that looks like a vintage. Look at that. Who has that on? I don't know what that is. Musto. But XL. 999. That looks expensive. It feels really nice. It's got a little bow there. It looks like sort of a Ralphie Wren. So the Musto one does sell for quite good money. Looking about 30 quid. One, that colour is sold for 30 quid. And a white one. So for 999, I've got to buy it. Yes, okay, okay. Gotta eat my humble pie and eat it because that Age UK was absolutely brilliant. And remember, I'm not a clothing reseller, but when I know good stuff, I will buy it. You know I will buy it. Literally, how much Rohan stuff was in there was amazing. Yeah, it might not be there um, all the time, but I got this coat. It's a duck feather Rohan puffer jacket. <sighs> I don't think I'm going to sell it. I think I'm going to keep it myself because it's, I've got it on now. It's really, really nice. That Rohan other top I got... Um, I'm looking around 80 quid, so I spent like 45 quid in there, and yeah, I'm just going to make my money back on one top. Um, the barber shoes for 10 quid. Barber, what charity shop sells barber shoes for 10 quid? Yes, they're a size 7, but they're still nice. You're still looking about 30 to 40 quid. I mean, the Bugs Bunny slippers are the best buy. I absolutely love them. Um, I would wear them now, but it is raining. Luckily, I got a really good coat. Um, but yeah, if you are in Leicester, come and visit this shop. It is amazing. It is huge. Remember, I haven't even gone around the women's section. I will never go around the women's section because it is just a minefield. The women's section is like double the version of the men's, but the men's section is really good. The toys... It had some nice stuff, but, you know, it was a bit more pricey. It, I, as one thing, one thing what I never get about charity shops is they'll sell this for, what, what was it, 14 quid, was it, or something like that? And I can literally sell it for a lot, lot more. And then they'll put a dinosaur, which I picked up quite a lot of them. They sell for about 30, 35 pounds. And they basically price it at 20. So, yeah, charity shops still confuse me. They price something up quite high and then something else quite low. But it's actually worth more than the actual other thing. But I'm not moaning about that. Like I said, I spent 45 quid. And, yeah, I'm looking easily a, a few hundred quid profit on all the stuff I've picked up. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, 
hit that like, subscribe if you're new, and yeah, I'll see you with another video.